Hello, my name is Nicholas Snow, and today we're going to be talking about joining a car audio team or club. Before we get into the video, I want to say thank you guys for showing support on the last video. We're definitely having good conversations in the comment section, and we're also getting a lot of support with like and subscribers. So don't forget to share the videos if you find them helpful, and if you have any suggestions, please drop them down below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. First off, I want to start talking about how I got into the car audio team that I'm a part of, which is called Team Base Outlaws. The way I got into that was actually going to a car audio event. So I went to a Mecca sponsored competition um, in Lafayette, Indiana, and I was just talking and hanging out, showing people my system and looking at other people's system. And I ran across, across the guy named Cody and he kind of introduced himself to me because we were running in the same um, the same bracket. Um, and we just get got to talking and he told me he was a part of this team. Um, and I thought, you know what? Hey, these seem like a good group of guys. So I went ahead and joined the team and I'm glad I did. Um, and once you're a part of a car audio team, there are definitely perks and benefits of joining one. So. Um, depending on what team or club you join, there might be dues associated with that. Now, luckily with team-based outlaws, there are no dues um, for being a part of the team or club, but I know some uh, do have dues uh, to pay for things like um, traveling to events or getting t-shirts, decals for your car, jackets, things like that. Um, kind of team-sponsored or oriented you know, clothing, stuff like that. Um, but luckily mine doesn't have that. Um, you also, a lot of times, depending on the size of the organization, you get um, savings at other companies. So um, a lot of car audio people need high output alternators to handle um, you know, the massive amount of power that their amps are drawing from their alternator. Um, so a lot of the standard alternators um, just can't keep up. So I know um, Team Base Outlaws, um, I forget the name of the company, but they have, um, you know, Kind of a deal with um, a manufacturer of high output alternators that you get a discount by being a part of TBO, which is Team Based Outlaws. So um, that's just one of the perks. Um, another thing is you have people at competitions that are on your team and looking out for your best interest. So when you're um, doing things like waiting in the line, because when you're at competitions, you have to wait in line, especially if you're going to big competitions like Slamology in Indianapolis, you're waiting hours and hours in lines. So when you have teammates or you're a part of a club, you can actually have them wait for you in line. So if you have to run to the bathroom, go get something to eat, do whatever you need to do, um, they can actually you know, get in your car and move it along the line so you're not skipped. Um, they can also help by increasing your score. And what I mean by that is, um, I'll throw a picture up on the screen of when I was at a competition and a lot of my teammates are either sitting on the top of the vehicle or pushing in on the doors of the vehicle. What that does is it helps keep the pressure inside of the vehicle and your score is gonna go up because the way they measure score is by dB output and that's a, your, the sound pressure. So once you're keeping that pressure in the vehicle, um, you're actually gonna increase your score. So it definitely helps to have a team on your side to help you out. Another reason that you would want to join a car audio team or club is to stay connected with people in the community. So when you're a part of a car audio club or team, you generally have some type of social media platform that all of the members interact on. Um, for me at TBO, that happens to be Facebook. So all members have Facebook pages um, and we have a national Facebook page where everyone can post their builds, what they're working on, ask questions. And they also have a Facebook Messenger group with all of the members in a national chat. And we also have an individual chat for each state. And I happen to be in the Indiana uh, chapter. So that's definitely nice staying connected with people in the community because they can let you know when events are going on in different leagues that you might not compete or if there's um, like a special event. So sometimes they do during Christmas time, they do um, like instead of uh, you know, paying to get into a competition. Um, you might just bring a toy for a child um, or they do some uh, events during Thanksgiving. So just different ones like that. You can stay connected with people in the community, which is very nice. 
Another reason is you can have your questions answered about problems that you're going through about your build or something you're thinking about doing. Um, for example, if you're trying to wire four subs in parallel um, and you just don't know how that's going to look like when you're wiring it, you can actually ask on uh, social media and um, your team members will be right there uh, to answer your questions and help you out. So it's definitely a good resource to have that. Um, and I definitely would not want to give that up at all. So if you're ever asking a lot of questions or you just want, um, you know, people in the community that are going to give you good advice, or even if you look up with lo local people, um, get in a chapter like I am where people live around you or within the area, like a driving distance, um, you guys can meet up and they can actually help you on your system or you can help them, you know, kind of bounce knowledge off of each other. So it's definitely a good resource to have. And there you go. That's, you know, kind of how to join a car audio team or club. And some of the reasons why I joined just because, you know, there's endless possibilities of people you can get help from and perks that you get by joining the team organization. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you have any other video ideas that you want me to do, just drop them in the comments section below or shoot me a message. Like I said, we're having great conversations in the comment section. So whether it's related to this video or not, just drop it down below and I'll be sure to reply. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on my newest videos. And until next time, I'm out.